This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. It's time! It's the day of the festival! Of all the days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but I decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. Both of them? You don't get to date two girls? <laughs> but knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. Oh yeah, Monica's got everything under control. <laughs> Artie! You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Oh no, Yuri's sick. <laughs> In quotes. <laughs> We've made homemade hostess cupcakes, apparently. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that we have all, that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online by some guy named Dennis that I thought Monica would like, so I submitted it. The poem Monica would like, not Dennis. <laughs> so that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. Bro. Really? <laughs> After she confessed how depressed she is? <laughs> You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. You forgot? <laughs> how? <laughs> And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. You forgot! <laughs> That's your girlfriend. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Ha ha ha. You should take a little responsibility for her, Artie. I mean, especially after your, after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, were you spying on me? Because that's creepy. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. No, that was not a, for the literature club. That was creepy. But, I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? Well, she was she was streaming the whole thing. We're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. <laughs> Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I feel a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? I'm sure they're great, Monica. They came out really nice. Uh, yeah, sure. I grab one of the pamphlets right out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flip for the pages. Each me po member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones that they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. You never really finish. You just run out of time. <laughs> uh, what is this? Monica printed that poem in all the pamphlets? What the heck are people going to think of that? What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Artie? What's wrong? Well, I'm, I'm a little alarmed by this poem that's printed in all the pamphlets. Oh, nothing. The poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. <laughs> it's my favorite poem. It was so unique, unlike anything I'd ever read. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. 
it's not a big deal at least to wait for her or to help her up. Even with the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Yeah, we should have had Jimmy Goes to the City. That would have been the best poem. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they've always been. That's all she needs, and that's what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone, either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Alright, I'm just... For those of you who didn't see the beginning, I'll say this right now. We're about to get dark. It's going to be very, very hard to watch this next part. So, if you need to leave the stream for like five minutes, I understand. But we're going we're gonna to go through this. <laughs> Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best and that everything would be okay. And why? Why would she do this? How can I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. That's why I did confess to her and make her feel even worse. Why? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and I remained friends with her like it had always been, Get out. then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And I'll carry this guilt with me till I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I could never take it back. Never. 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 The end. Or is it? This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. And now you know. And, uh... uh <laughs> yeah! Well, now the game really begins. And now remember, folks. In this game, it's not over until you see the credits. So, let's let's just try to load. And, um... Let's, let's not confess to Sayori this time. File error. Characters slash Sayori.chr. The file is missing or corrupt. This save file is corrupt, starting a new game, but I didn't want to do... Achievement unlocked, start a new game. <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is <laughs> my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've seen each other, known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me like this, then I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh an idol in front of the crosswalk, uh, crosswalk and let <laughs> catch up to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of proud of my acting skills for that Sayori scene. <laughs> Oh, it, yeah. 
thinks, It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Oh yeah, the music gets off-key. It's great. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in that anyway. True. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my fiends, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. <laughs> Kids. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to be deal with. Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess I have no choice but to start the anime club. Artie? Ah, uh, Monica! Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here! It's been a while, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We all know, we do we know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Did you know that th if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Good for you, Monica. No use arguing politics with people who won't ever admit they're wrong. Really? You quit? Yeah! To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one! A literature club! Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists the manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Are the girls in the club? Hmm. Hey, Artie. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? No, 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 I think I don't think I'm going to join the literature club. Bye. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I want to ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Uh, sure, I guess I could check it out. Oh, awesome! You're really sweet, Artie, you know that? I'm the best. It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. I am more important than construction paper. That is what I'm known for. And thus, today marks the, soul the day that I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Okay, well, Monica's a bit of a better trade than a cupcake, but you still don't sell your soul to people. I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Okay, I forgot if that could happen. Uh, uh, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Artie. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I know, I'm getting the rare screens. It's great. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? That I am. <laughs> what? No, I'm not! Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. A anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Artie in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Artie? 
The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. They're all separate desks. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica! Yes! You forgot about human Monica? Monica? Of course she's a human. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. Oh, that's Monica. But I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet, if Monica's here. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all of the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow the club this year before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well... Guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. <laughs> there are two things that'll get a guy into a club. Free food and cute girls. That's all you need. And two 20s, of course. Before um, She carefully places a teacup in front of uh, each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, it's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. We've seen all this before. So, Artie, what kinds of things do you like to read? Oh, well, have you ever heard of, um... Have you ever heard of the boxcar children? I've read all 8,000 books. <laughs> it's so mysterious. Well, uh, I can't say how little I've read these past few years. I don't really have a good a way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking in a weird voice. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change! What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories of deep psychological elements that usually immerse me as well. Immerse me? Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination completely throw you for a loop? Like this game! Anyway, I've been le reading a lot of horror lately. Like this game. Oh, I, I played a horror game once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Haha, <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over for me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute fiends, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the class club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called DON'T SAY IT OUT LOUD! Give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> Guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea! How about this? Bleh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Bleh? Aww... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Artie? Hold on, there's still one problem. Huh? What's that? 
Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Monica will force you to stay. I want to join the napping club, and... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Except Natsuki. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Artie. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members, except all of them mysteriously killed themselves. And if we don't find one more member before the festival... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls and Monica... Right. Oh wait, I just implied Monica wasn't a beautiful girl. Whoops, she ain't gonna like that. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Artie? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. If you thought that was scary. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Artie, I'm so happy. We could become an official club now! Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone! I, th I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting and so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Artie, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's Sayori's laugh. Don't do that. Can I really impress this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri co cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy in spending every day after school in a literature club? No, run while you still can. Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight.